Caitlin from Chef Caitlin. Um, here vlogging to you today from my bed in my dorm. Well, not my dorm. It's actually not a dorm. It's an apartment. Look at that. Um, keep calm and carry on poster behind me as usual. Of course, I get text messages when I'm vlogging. Always happens. Um, so today I'm here to talk about why I've been so lean lately and why I haven't been vlogging as often and as spunkily as I usually do. Um, I haven't been training a ton. I've been training once a day. Um, no more, no less. Um, except for a couple of two, two-ish rest days a week, which seems to work for me. Um, wow, I kind of look like a vampire right now. I look like I have red lips on. Maybe it's, um, might be... I was just eating this uh, salad with uh, <laughs> olive oil and balsamic in it, um, and then some cut-up steak that I made last night, little perfect grass-fed um, organic steak baby sizes. I don't know. They're like perfect portion from Wegmans. Um, cooked that up last night. Super yummy, super buttery. I just, you know, pan-seared it in some coconut oil, but... I was eating that, maybe the balsamic made my lips red. Um, so I'm here to talk about stress and how that's kind of affecting my blogging and my schoolwork and sorry, I like to move my computer around. Um, and kind of how that's affecting my, you know, blogging career, nom, nom, all that. Um, so lately I've been just generally really fatigued. Um, I've been eating more vegetables, adding in a little bit more carbs, um, more healthy fats, which seems to be helping, um, which is always good. But what I've kind of noticed is that once I get to school, um, you guys probably noticed this last year, um, I start to lose my mojo a little bit, my blog and mojo, if you will. Um, I think my roommate just got home. One second. Hey, okay, I have to close my bedroom door. Don't want to be too noisy. We all got to do some work around here. Um, but I kind of start to lose my mojo when I'm, you know, taking classes, and there's nothing wrong with schoolwork. I mean, that's it is what it is. Um, but for the most part, it just kind of sucks because I feel like. Um, really opening up to you guys right now. Um, I feel like I really know what I'm passionate about and what I care about and what I want to do um, with this thing called life. Um, and then I kind of get caught in between the two realities of being a student and being a blogger um, and being someone who loves and is obsessed with fitness and food and living life and traveling and all that. Um, and I kind of start to feel like I'm caught between the two worlds and like it's kind of holding me back. Um, so that's just kind of an identity crisis I'm having right now. Um, the last couple of weeks I'm kind of like, okay, who am I? What am I looking for? I know who I am, but how much time can I dedicate to this thing or that thing? And then I kind of get caught in the middle and I'm like, I can't do anything right now. Like, what is there to do? Like, I know that I want to blog and I know that. I want to train harder and train more, but at the same time, I kind of feel like, okay, I'm in school, I know I, why well, I need to do my nails, and like, I need to pay attention to my classes, and I need to get, you know, work hard, work hard to get good grades, like I have my whole life, and it just sucks, because so then I'm just kind of like, what do I do, and for me, that little home place has kind of become CrossFit. Like, I go there and it's like, okay, everything makes sense right now. You know, I'm here, I'm getting my butt kicked, I'm having a good time, but then I get home and I'm like, what am I going to do now? Like, if I could just work out and eat and blog all the time, I'd be the happiest person in the world. And socialize, obviously. But, I don't know. That's just kind of an identity crisis I'm having right now. And I've kind of been feeling like, mediocre the last few days just because I 
I'm kind of in a funk. I don't know where I am or, you know, how to handle things. So I'm kind of feeling it out. Um, so yeah, that's my little rant. Might finish my salad. I've been eating a lot today. I mean, I haven't eaten a lot, but I've been eating consistently, so my stomach is kind of funky, but... Thanks, guys, for listening and for reading. And I hope I'm not a Debbie Downer for being so stressed. But I just am stressed, and stress is stupid. Yeah, feels great. Okay. Well, I'm going to go. Um, hopefully, can, you know, hopefully I'll get more pep in my stuff the next few days. I'm partially blaming my muggy mood on the muggy weather. It's seriously gray outside right now. It looks like it's going to rain. I'm not even going to show you that side of my room because it's so, it's not even messy, but it's organized in a disorganized way, if you will. Oh, and I have a day planner coming soon. That's exciting. I don't know why I get so excited about these things, but I literally love anything organizational and anything that helps me plan my life out and anything that is nerdy like that. I just like that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go. Everyone have a great rest of your nights. It's Tuesday, the week is, I mean, we already have a handicap, wow, I'm gonna, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that, a handicap day, aka yesterday, where I really didn't have any commitments, which was awesome, okay, oh, well, I guess, tell me about your Labor Day, tell me, did you have any, did you do anything fun, did you go to the beach, I went to the beach, I did a Labor Day beach workout, you know, I should talk more about that kind of stuff, instead of putting myself down from being so busy and confused about my life, okay, Love you all. Thanks for reading. Thanks for subscribing. And see you next time. Love you guys. Mwah.